um, the session. So let me start sharing my screen. So I hope you are ready to start. Uh, let's start in kicking off the session by playing um, a simple uh, game. Um, it's about guessing the movie. Uh, you are going to uh, listen uh, to movie theme uh, and songs for uh, five movies. Um, some of them are Canadian movies. Uh, so I would appreciate to, to uh, uh, open up your uh, listening skills in order to uh, get to know the movie and write down uh, as long as you find something that is familiar for you, write it down so we can share afterwards uh, how much uh, guess correctly you have uh, from the movies that we are going to present. Let's start together. Okay, I hope it's uh, it was an easy game for you. Um, I like movies a lot, and I hope it resonates with you. Um, giving a little bit of relevance, why uh, we actually play this game right now? Because um, it's depending on only one character. The game is focused on only one character, and you played it alone. So let's see res the results we have. We have here five movies. All of those movies have something uh, common. Uh, each uh, movie is built over surviving. So when you play alone, uh, when you are focusing on your own goals, you are surviving the journey. What we are trying to present today is something different that we focus on our goals and on our development and improvement in a team performance review. So let me start to introduce myself quickly. Uh, my name is Sarah. I have practiced various accountability within teams for decades, and I'm currently an agile coach and trainer. My journey has been uh, passed through uh, blaming myself for missing uh, mistakes, and then I normalized failures. And then I um, got the idea that this is a learning journey, and I need to experiment every step in it and celebrating it as well. 
during this journey, um, I have been curious about the change and building relationships based on open communication and teamwork with teams and discover my superpowers for bringing order to chaos. I value transparency, openness, and respect, as well as be committed and focused all over the world. I enjoy stories and testing foods, and I play a uh, puzzle, so play skip rooms, connecting puzzle uh, for clients, at finding the missing pieces in the journey, and then collecting puzzle for myself and for playing out with this uh, during my free time. Uh, my favorite quote is uh, from Benjamin Franklin, tell me and I forgot, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. Uh, as I believe in experimental learning as well as in that. I believe that our beautiful organizers have um, distributed uh, the session plan um, for you, uh, as well as uh, virtually uh, send a PDF for uh, the session plan template. Uh, this template will help you throughout uh, our session to define the goals from the session, to take notes, and then uh, to define what are the next actions that we can take to implement the new approach for team performance review. Um, I will leave it like here for a minute for people who want to take a screenshot for it or uh, to take a, a photo for it. I've uh, put the PDF uh, in the chat for everybody. Thank you, Sora. Okay, I guess um, uh, I have one more uh, um, slide to share here before moving to the mural board. Um, I guess this is familiar for people who are having individual performance review sitting with leaders and acting as comfortable conversation, even from leader or from employee. But actually in their minds, they are thinking about the places that they need to visit or um, the moment that we leave, that they leave this space, uh, because a lot of fear and stress and confusion and blaming is happening uh, within the conversation. So let me um, uh, open the mural board and uh, exploring with you uh, what we are uh, trying to present here today. Uh, first of all, we will define uh, the performance review, and then uh, we will change this definition uh, at the end of the session. Right now, what we know is the performance review is two-way communication. It's for individuals, so it's between leader and employee, um, especially that we are at the end of the year and the beginning of the year, so I guess we are all experiencing this. Uh, it's focused on performance development and the growth, and it's very important for um, the organization development the plan and management plan at the large scale. So I hope you would join me in the next 10 minutes to write down over the mural board um, what are the gains that we are gaining from following the traditional approach of individual um, performance review and are, what are the pains that we are trying to avoid here and we are suffering from using the traditional performance review. I hope that um, people can uh, have an access for the mural board and if not, please let me know. I can try to provide access. Sarah, do you, are you going to share the link? Yeah, sure. Yeah, if you, if you could share the link for the mural board in the chat. Um, yeah. With everyone, and then everyone would have access who's online. Yeah, sure. If if that's what you want to do, I'm assuming there. Yeah, yeah, open. sure. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, let me know if it's not opening with you. Uh, just please uh, log in and um, try to request access, and I will approve access over the email. And for the rest of you, please uh, try to um, join the neural board and write your games and pain.
Sarah, can you repeat the question for us again? Yeah, sure. Um, um, right here, we are trying to explore together uh, what are the gains from the traditional performance review? Um, and what are the things that we are suffering from following the traditional individual performance review? Uh, is it clear? So if I can paraphrase, you're asking us to write on the sticky notes, the green sticky notes, what, what are the, the gains or the benefits of the traditional, the traditional view? And yes. what are the pains? Okay. Yes, and that's and a, uh, okay. Yeah. I, I can't uh, write anything here. Yeah, I don't. I, 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 I'm the same way. I'm unable to. Have, I, 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 oh, okay. Oh, we have to ask to edit. Yeah, you have to ask for a request. Maybe I will yeah. start uh, giving uh, access for people uh, over um, the email. I'll, I'll move the chair. My contribution. Yeah. So anybody who's online, if you if you see the. You see the at the top of the board it says ask to edit. So just click that and then and then Sarah will allow what's that? It's, yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's keep it I have been approved. It feels like my performance review went well. <laughs> Well done, Mr. Dyer.
Uh, Morgan, I, I um, regained the access and I'm not sure um, who else uh, still uh, couldn't find the edit permission. Uh, so I can uh, recheck the email. Yeah, I, I still don't have access, but that's okay, okay for me. Check but for it, it, anybody else <laughs> still not have it? No worries. I, I, I can work on it. Yeah, it says it's um, like I, I'm not. It says it's sending me an email, but I didn't get it. So. Murals. Maybe if you refresh the board, uh, because uh, people uh, did this and refresh the board after I sent the invitation and it works for them. So. And so as well, if you refresh the board, I guess it will work with you. Sorry, sorry, what did we need to do? Uh, refresh the board. And oh, I refresh the board. Oh, maybe that'll okay. okay. Uh, Erica, I oh, that worked. Yeah, right refreshing now. the board worked. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, I can see an email from you, Erica. Can you please request an access? Yeah, this is Julie Valiquet or Julie. Um, I also requested access several times and it keeps saying it's going to email me when I have access, but I'm not getting any emails. Okay. And I still don't see, I, I refresh the board and I have nothing still. Yeah, let me double check it now. I guess uh, it's on the way. Just refresh and it will go. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, um, so I guess uh, we can move forward. Um, and if anyone having a trouble in uh, editing the word, we can uh, discuss uh, here um, uh, your point of view. Um, so to define the session goal, uh, we are going to discuss what are the gain um, uh, that we are trying to keep and what are the pain that we are trying uh, to uh, resolve. So if it is a performance review from coming as a one way, so it's one direction, the leader is telling the employee without giving the space for the employee to um, reply or uh, to um, explore the opinion, then this is a pain that we need to get off. Um, uh, the not building a safety, uh, not building trust, uh, focusing on the past, uh, have no clear direction for develop or development plan, um, um, causing a lot of fears and stress for both parties, uh, even the, the leader or the employee being subjective or biased uh, it happened unfrequent so once per year and you discover a new thing that no one has told you before about it um, at the end it's a crucial um, thing for um, um, the, the, the employee engagement retention and development so what we are trying to uh, keep here is uh, to keep this an open and honest uh, regular feedback uh, to build the trust between uh, leaders and teams um, and at organization at large, 
um, having a learning opportunities, shared goals, celebrating and recognizing the achievements, uh, reinforcing uh, alignments for values and goals, and identify teams' needs, desires, and motivation, as well as support the team to embrace challenges, uh, to have conflicts, but they collaboratively resolve those conflicts, and then uh, they will have all the tools and utility to innovate. Uh, this is what we are aiming for. If we are going to uh, navigate to defining success, um, I will uh, reveal later what I, I wrote here, but I would like you to uh, contribute over the uh, writing down why this could be a success to follow the team performance uh, review approach, and what are the metrics uh, how can we measure that this approach is successful and how can we measure uh, that this approach is uh, suitable for us? Sorry, do we have something over the chat that I need to take care of? I think uh, we still have had a few people who uh, added some some uh, information via chat as opposed to sticky. Uh, for those of you who, who submitted an email, uh, I suggest go to the mirror board and to your browser and refresh your browser and it will allow you to edit like that, that should do the trick. Go ahead. Sir. Okay, I'm um, waiting for um, uh, the collaboration over defining success and uh, the key metrics. Uh, until this, I will try to uh, regain uh, the edit access for uh, Morgan and Erica. Um, can you write down the uh, at those sticky notes, or it's not at the moment? Yep, I can anyway. I have access to sticky notes. Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm in now. Thanks. That's cool. Thank you, Morgan. Um, Sarah, did you also want us to start filling in the create measurable success metrics as yes, well? Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please.
uh, do you feel that we can start discussing uh, right now or um, or people are still trying to uh, write things down over the board? I think we're, Sarah, we're just still talking about how to measure. Yeah, okay. So maybe another. another. I think we're good now, Sarah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'll start uh, with uh, the, um, the 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 success for um, the big success for the team, and I saw a lot of interesting points. Yes, and especially less making uh, the other guys look bad and make me look better. So, um, yes, it will foster inclusion. Uh, uh, openness for sure, and as you all said, uh, transparency, psychological safety, it will foster collaboration because we are all focused on one goal and we are all going to be engaged. Uh, it will also uh, um, uh, provide openness, uh, honesty, because it will come directly to the stakeholder, from the stakeholders uh, to the team and from the dependent teams uh, to the team as well. And it will be around a unit a complete unit. So um, it's depending on uh, continuous improvement and sharing, uh, having a supportive system uh, focused on outcome. Um, it will be frequent because it's already around the shared goals. So um, this is very interesting points and I guess uh, they are all uh, have been listed here in, in, in in the sticky notes, thank you so much for sharing this. I guess um, what I would like to say that um, the feedback itself, what we are um, trying to um, to do here is uh, to transform uh, the feedback uh, coming to the team um, and, and increase the employee engagement and uh, retention. Um, thank you so much for supporting uh, this and for the metrics. Uh, Yes, it should be timely, um, and it would be focusing over um, the values and the flow metrics, yes, um, because it's about the team and about how the team is performing, what is the outcome, the measurable outcomes that we are focusing here for the team, um, uh, how, how this saved time for the team, how this um, improved the team better, uh, how this has been uh, done frequently. So it's focus on the future, uh, has been frequently uh, feedback from uh, the customer and the stakeholders, the dependent team as well, cele celebrating uh, and uh, recognizing achievements and reinforcing alignments around the values because um, I would work with a team uh, that would have the same goals, uh, would, have, would appreciate the same values uh, for me, because we will all have um, 
a clear mindset and a clear direction of how we can improve things together. Um, uh, also, um, it suggests that we would do a team health check with an indicator bars showing us where we are and where we want to be. So we can uh, frequently, uh, continuously uh, moving towards uh, our shared goals. Uh, is anyone wants to share with us something uh, not written here or uh, unclear for them? Are there any bad sides? Bad sides? Um, yeah, I, I, I was just going to share this uh, over the collaboration, yes. So um, thank you so much for raising this. I want to rephrase the definition for the performance reviews that we have uh, defined uh, at the beginning of the session, that this could be a bi-direction dialogue between leader and a system. A system is a complete unit, uh, focusing on uh, the performance impact, uh, uh, the development, the cross opportunities, and it will be very critical for the organization strategy. There will be bad sides if uh, you would have a people who still want to compete, still uh, want to be uh, individually, uh, still don't want to work as a team. Or people that are in a team and already uh, sharing with them uh, like shared goals, but they have other goals that they are seeking. Uh, they have um, um, other ambitions, other development that they want to uh, move forward with. So um, what uh, we are trying to suggest here is to do like teams of teams, community of practice, building networks, uh, to have several communities uh, inside the organization uh, that you can share it with, that you can found easily uh, to share with them your extension for the goals, your extension for the development. And you can seek out the mentors, uh, people with uh, subject matter of expert that they can uh, support your journey as a unit as well. Uh, and uh, you can uh, build a rewarding system like running a hackathon, technical uh, uh, initiatives, innovative initiatives uh, that can bring out uh, those values and foster those values and foster, foster those goals uh, into uh, the actual and into the most benefit of the people and the organization itself. So this would need a motivation uh, for opening um, a clear communication between teams, not just the same team, no several teams, in order that they can share with each other uh, what they um, can improve in understanding this, what they can uh, um, move forward, how they can achieve other goals, and uh, winning as a team and defining harmonies. Um, you can encourage and uh, reward uh, integrity, honesty, and responsibility for the team, uh, discussing how often you can gather the feedback from the stakeholder and the dependent team, um, how uh, how we can collect this feedback, how we can, uh, what are the tools that we are going to use to have those feedback uh, in a very visible and transparent way, and how we can support the team in the challenges and convert them into learning opportunity, and um, making sure that the people who are thinking uh, about uh, their own results, uh, like uh, the five dysfunction, the, the top of the triangle, make sure that those people will be engaged in, in some team that they would share purpose with and uh, that they will understand uh, the importance of working as a group and not being left uh, behind. Uh, did I answer your question? Uh, yes, 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 yes. So moving forward, we can write down what are the risks that we can see here uh, that could um, drain this approach or hinder our plan uh, to move forward from the traditional individual performance review into um, a team and collective group uh, review.
Okay. Um, okay. I I I guess we can start the conversation. Um, uh, I see a lot of interesting things. Uh, uh, yes, uh, this would need a supportive system from uh, HR and leaders, especially, uh, in order that they can uh, support the team to do this. But if we didn't find this, what can we do? Is uh, role modeling and influencing because we are not, uh, some of us are not direct leader, but um, we can influence uh, the good behavior with the team. Some teams right now are starting to have um, uh, to interview uh, the new member by themselves and uh, to have the the whole the the whole empowered decision to say that these people will will going to align with their values and goal or uh, they are going to come here and suffer from the misalignment that they will uh, feel um, um, the resistance um, it's something that is very obvious and uh, it will take time. Uh, you are going to find your early adopters. You are going to uh, test with them this approach. And then some people will join uh, by time and others that will remain uh, with, their, um, with the mindset that uh, I want to play alone and I want to play out of this. Either they will find themselves a small group of people and this has been tested and uh, succeeded and why not joining them or uh, I cannot find myself here. So the traditional org chart and the HR and the leaders, all of those things yet need a supportive system and we can influence them uh, company misalignment as well. Um, the other uh, goals that I um, might find uh, as their goals that not matching with the current team, uh, I can build the community of practice and find some people that are interested in the, this, those goals or find other teams that are trying to apply right now those goals and I can uh, join with them the journey uh, of being mentored uh, and to find a mentor together that help us uh, move on forward with this. Uh, this would need an empowerment and autonomy for sure alignment, a direction at the end because people are trying to implement some goals if it has no direction and clear uh, vision from leaders uh, um, it won't succeed and even the traditional won't succeed at this point of time. Um, did we miss something to be discussed? Do you think that there is uh, something that I missed during um, consolidating those uh, views? Okay. That covers what we've talked about here. Yeah, it seems okay. pretty comprehensive. Um, yeah, thank you. So um, wrapping up the board, um, I would uh, encourage team to write down uh, their achievements uh, at each and every step, because when we don't write it down, when we don't have um, a clear um, uh, measurement for those achievements, we cannot be able to uh, recognizing them or celebrating them. Uh, so this is a very important uh, point for reflection. It's like what we are doing right now for hours in journaling and reflecting what we have uh, gained during the day and what are uh, insights. The team need to do this on a frequently basis as a unit. Um, leaders and uh, HR and the company representative or at the leadership team need to ask the right question, actively listening to the team and inspecting and adapting their agreement and give them the support and the empower to expect them and that is their agreement for continuous improvement. Support them and giving them all the tools and utility to have innovative initiatives uh, that could um, reflect directly to their backlog of improvement and um, having a conversation that is focused on what we can do next and uh, having a goal. And a very important point, we don't compare teams. Each and every team has a unique point of view and um, doing something unique in their work. So I'm going to wrap up um, the session by uh, going back uh, uh, to uh, playing uh, the same game that we played uh, at the beginning of the session. But this time, we are going to play it as a group. 
So we are going to practice what we have discussed so far. Uh, playing it as a group will foster uh, a collaboration and a better results and a better guessing. Uh, this time we have six movies and they are all animated movies and one of them is a Canadian animated movie. So please activate your listening skills. Uh, write down uh, the guests for the movies. Play as a team. So I would start whenever you say that the people are distributed correctly as a team physically and virtually we can play together as one team. Uh, is it clear? So sh should we then like on online then should we should we put put our guesses in the chat then? Yes, and exactly. then work together. Okay. Yeah. Let's try that. Sounds good. Okay. Um, Brock, are we good for people that working uh, as a team physically? Yes. Okay, so let me play the song.
Okay. Uh, are you excited to see the results? Yeah, I hope that you are excited too. So um, I hope you have enjoyed played it uh, in a group um, and as a team because um, I can see here uh, the most common thing between um, those movies uh, that we have we will face ups and downs uh, and we are going to work over this. Uh, we sometimes going to be lost and then we will find each other again. We will have missions, um, hard missions, but as a team, we are going to get over it. And we should believe in each and every one uh, in the member in the team, because uh, even if they don't have the success uh, characteristics uh, uh, that we believe in, it, uh, they have it from within and they have it inside. So we need to believe in each and every one. And the exit between um, the mix of people, the mix of uh, culture, the mix of diversity that we'd have as a team together, it's what makes us found the treasure and reach out to the joy. Um, that's everything. I will leave you here with a short animated movie. Um, and we are uh, almost finished with the search. <laughs> Please don't stop giving back to the community, sharing your experience uh, with uh, everyone, and uh, don't stop learning. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would be happy to connect with you over my network. Um, this is a link for a QR code for my LinkedIn profile. And um, I would also be happy if you provide me with uh, feedback because the feedback is a gift and I would like to improve this talk uh, for a uh, further audience. Okay. Awesome. Uh, there we go. Thanks so much, Sarah. Really appreciated you uh, taking the time to share with us. Um, and thank you to everyone for coming out, uh, especially in person on this cold uh, cold night. Um, next session, as uh, Lisa mentioned earlier, so uh, January 25th, Jill Langer is going to be doing a 
visual facilitation session here. You do have to register ahead of time and it's $35 to attend. So, um, you know, mark that in your calendars and be sure to go to our meetup group to sign up for that. Um, and then I think, uh, Thor, I don't know, do we have a feedback QR code as well? Uh, I think Sarah just had a the code up. I don't have I don't have the feedback code on me. Okay, so Sarah, you can put yours back up. We'll use that. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and so uh, with that, we'll wrap up from here. So thank you everyone uh, for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you all for joining us. For your time, I appreciate it.